Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I will be reviewing the adventures of Kotetsu. This is another old ecchi OVA series that I never watched before. I wanted to watch this OVA series because of the ecchi tag. I was left a little disappointed after watching it. It just felt like an average show to me. In this OVA series, the main character, Lin, has traveled to Edo in hopes of finding her long lost brother. She goes to a detective agency in hopes of having them help her track down her brother. The person in charge of this detective agency is a woman named Miho. Miho decides to give Lin a place to stay and will help her track down her brother. However, there is a mysterious agency trying to kill Miho and now Lin has gotten caught in this conflict. This OVA series was only two episodes long and it just felt way too short. There was not much plot development at all. Variable Geo was only 3 episodes long, and even that old OVA series felt like it had more plot development than this. In this OVA series, Lin meets Miho, and then they soon get attacked by two assassins, and that's pretty much it. We didn't get to see them try to find Lin's brother. We didn't find out much about the mysterious agency. It was a read the manga ending. Basically, the anime studio was trying to get us to read the source material, but the OVA series was so average that I felt no reason to read the source material. The fights were just generic sword fights, there were no amazing techniques being used, and the fights were determined by two fighters charging into each other, and whoever had more determination would win the fights. That's pretty boring to watch. The only decent power being used in the show was Tatsuya's power to create clones of people. And even then, it wasn't that interesting to watch. The etchy scenes were subpar as well. It was just Tatsuya accidentally seeing Lin naked at times. They didn't get intimate at all during the OVA series. In terms of characters, Lin kind of acted like an energetic girl that was kind of like a tsundere. She acted cold and embarrassed towards Tatsuya at times. She was very confident as a fighter. She just didn't have any personality trait that I found interesting and unique. Tatsuya was a generic pervert guy that got shy at times. Miho was pretty boring to watch as well. The opening and ending song were boring to listen to. The music was average in this OVA series. The animation style was okay. It didn't look that good or bad. The animation was decent during the fight scenes. I can't recommend watching this OVA series because there is really nothing positive I can say about it. Nothing happened in terms of plot, fights were generic, characters were boring, and the etchy scenes were not good at all. I give this OVA series a 4 out of 10. So, that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night whoever you are, and please like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.